Hello Internet world, welcome to my review of the QNAP TS464 4 bay NAS. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's changed hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. Just want to share with you my experience of using this over the past few weeks so you can make an informed buying decision. The first question we should ask is what is a NAS? Well a NAS is a network attached storage device. So this box here connects to your network via ethernet and then you put in between one and four hard drives into this enclosure and the files that you store on those hard drives are then accessible across your network. So you can access your files if you're using a laptop, a desktop computer, maybe you're streaming to a large screen TV or maybe you want to gain access to your files on your touchscreen tablet. This will serve up those files to those devices. So let's take a look at what you get inside the box of the QNAP TS464. First of all, you get some warranty information. We also get a quick install guide, and then we get some extra paperwork in the box as well. We also, of course, get a power adapter. Now this is a multi-voltage power adapter. This end here goes into the QNAP device, and this end here connects to your power cable. Now, depending upon which country you are buying this in, you'll get a country specific power cable. So this might look very slightly different in your box. It's an IEC connector on this end, which goes into that power adapter. And then this end here for me is a three pin UK plug, but it might be slightly different depending upon where you live. And we also get an extra cable, which is nice. So we get a, an ethernet cable for connecting this to your network. And then we get a little bag of mounting screws these are used for mounting the hard drives inside the enclosure. So you get plenty of screws inside these two packs to mount your hard drives. Now this doesn't come with any hard drives included, uh, so you do have to supply your own, but it will accept up to four three and a half inch or two and a half inch SATA drives. So that could be uh, rotating sort of spinning hard drives, the three and a half inch versions, or it could be a solid state drive, for example. Now inside here, this is very important. In fact, it's on this sticker on the top. This isn't just an empty box. This has got a processor inside. So it's an Intel Celeron N5105 or 5095 quad core processor up to 2.9 gigahertz. It also has memory inside, which helps with the processing and the speed of the device. And it comes with four gigabytes of RAM pre-installed, but you can upgrade that to 16 gigabytes. There's also two M.2 uh, PCI Gen 3 slots. You can add some solid state drives into those slots as well. Also, it's got a PCIe Express slot and it's got two times or two 2.5 gigahertz uh, LAN ports as well. They also support one, point, uh, one gigabit ethernet as well. So 2.5 or one gigabit ethernet. There's HDMI 2 as well on here that supports 4K. It is packed full of technology. If we look on the front here, we have got the opening where you're gonna gain access to installing your hard drives. We've got the main power button. We've got some activity uh, LEDs here as well for things like network connectivity uh, and what hard drives you've got installed. We've also got a USB slot on the front and a copy button. This is really useful because you can put something like a USB flash drive in here push the button and it'll copy the files that are on that USB flash drive into the internal storage. So that's really nice. On the top, as I mentioned, it's completely blank, plastic casing, got ventilation on the side. We've got a sort of a switch or uh, sort of a sliding switch here, which opens up the device, which is really nice. On the side here, underneath this piece of paper I put on, we've got a QR code and also the serial number of the device. It allows you really easy installation, also access to their service portal. So this is for ease of installation. Nice chunky feet on the bottom. And then if we take a look round on the back, we've got a fan. So this fan, obviously you can hear it when the device is turned on, but it's not that obtrusive. It's a fairly quiet fan. I wouldn't put this in a bedroom where I was sleeping, but certainly in a work environment, it's absolutely fine. We've got some USB sockets up here, 
got HDMI socket here, Kensington slot for if we want to tether this down to a desk. If we put in a PCI Express expansion card in here, then this little blanking plate can be removed. And then we've also got the two 2.5 gigabit ethernet sockets, which also work at the slower speed as well. And then the input for the power supply. So really a great array of ports in here and also a great array of ports on the back. Very, very good indeed. Now, I mentioned uh, that the PCI expansion slot inside uh, supports various things and it's a really good that you can expand the functionality of this. You can, you can install a QNAP QM2 dual port uh, M.2 SSD or 10 gigabit Ethernet connectivity card or a USB 3.2 Gen 2 card to give you even more ports on the back. So really very, very impressive. But what a NAS also does, apart from uh, sort of storing files, is you can install apps on here as well. So you can install apps from the App Store, from the QNAP App Store, and that further extends the functionality of this device. So you've got things like for storing photos, turning it into an email server, you've got a surveillance app, you've got so, so many different apps that you can install on this to turn it into a really smart box of tricks. So you've got central file storage, you've got those apps you can install, you've got the additional cards you can install, you put your own hard drives in here and then you can store terabytes and terabytes of data. If you loaded this up, for example, with say four 10 terabyte drives, you've got masses of storage inside this tiny box. You've got the added uh, benefit as well, depending upon how you set this up, of file redundancy. And what that means is if you've got say four hard drives in here and one hard drive fails, you're still gonna have all of your data mirrored on the remaining hard drives. And it means you can take out that faulty hard drive, replace it with one that is working properly, and then it will rebuild the uh, file structure inside the device. So that means you've got some data redundancy and you're, you're not gonna lose your data. It's an absolutely superb product, really good specification, nice performance as well, all in this really neat package. I think QNAP have done a fantastic job of this. Not only does it look the part, but it actually performs superbly. I really also like the ease of access for the hard drives and love the fact that it supports the faster 2.5 gigabit ethernet on the back here. It's a great product and I can highly recommend it. This is the QNAP TS464 and I definitely recommend that you check it out. If you want to pick up one of these for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description. Hit like on the video if you enjoyed it. Check out the link to the manufacturer's website as well. They do lots of different models of network attached storage. And of course, I'll see you in another video very, very soon.